Hello, hello, hello. My name is uh, Peter Martin, and I want to talk today about what I've done to stay motivated during the pandemic. So even before I talk about my experience, I want to talk about one of my favorite books, which is uh, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor E. Frankl. And Victor was um, just an incredible person. Like he um, conceived this book while he was in a concentration camp and he was a psychologist. And what he wanted to do was kind of talk about the human condition while being in a concentration camp and how that might differ from our expectation. And um, there are many great things about this book. I highly recommend it if you've never read it. Um, but there's this one section that I feel like um, I feel like really applies to a lot of what we are feeling during the pandemic. So he talks about the concept of a provisional existence. So what that means is that um, it's no longer about any future goals, but just about you're statically always stuck. Um, he says, he ceased living for the future in contrast to a man in normal life. Therefore, the whole structure of his inner life changed. Signs of decay set in, which we know from other areas of life. The unemployed worker, for example, is in a similar position. His existence has become provisional. In a certain sense, he cannot live for the future or aim at a goal. Research work done on a, un, research work done on unemployed minors has shown that they suffer from a peculiar sort of deformed time, inner time, which is a result of their unemployed state. So, to me, that's really significant um, because it shows how kind of losing a lack of bearings, even like mentally, um, can kind of just put you in a place where you're stuck. And so that's been like one of my main goals during this time where, you know, seemingly every day is the same, right? Um, is to create these kind of goals. So that's why I like to do the weekly YouTube videos. That's why I like to, um, you know, I've been really focused on my online teaching. You know, at first that was really difficult um, because there was a lot of internet connection issues and just the format is so different from in-person lessons. But also there's a lot of advantages, like you can like pull up YouTube links so they can see the videos in real time, or you can just pull up um, different tabs or different worksheets that are just saved on your computer. So I've actually come to really enjoy it as well. Um, and then the last thing I've done is work on my like songwriting um, and work on my singing because those are both two things that before the pandemic I really wanted to work on, um, but I was always too busy to really spend a lot of time on. So, you know, I think the key isn't to start being an internet performer, which I feel like there's a lot of pressure to do on musicians that maybe ha haven't been used to like posting online uh, before the pandemic. Um, you know, you should really only do that if you like doing that because like after the pandemic, there's going to be so many other opportunities. Like we don't, everyone doesn't need to be uh, a Twitch streamer. And so I think it's really important to kind of embrace who you are and if you enjoy doing it then do it but if you don't then you know don't don't make yourself suffer um but yeah i would be really curious to know what you're all doing to stay motivated during this time um you know i hope that it hasn't been too hard for all of you um i know for myself that even though you know it's been difficult at times that uh overall I've been like very lucky to have my girlfriends always be there. Um, I've always been really lucky to have a lot of good friends, like family, just everything's going well in that respect. Um, and so I hope you're all doing well. Um, thanks for listening to me ramble about what I've done. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.